Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. Hey guys, um, welcome to this week's vlog. Um, vlog 5, I think, actually, I'm not sure. Um, I literally just recorded the other one as well because I've had to do two of them in the same week. Um, I also already explained in the last video, I'm not high on energy levels this week, so sorry and forgive me for the fact that my energy levels will be a little bit lower this week. I will try to pump them up for next week, um, which will be next week Sunday probably, because my time is very limited at the moment to actually be able to edit videos and to do stuff with it, so the videos will be pretty rough and probably not as pretty as they usually are but i hope that doesn't matter to you guys uh, and i hope for you guys it's just about the content uh, not only about the quality of the content i just hope that well maybe the story of the content maybe that's a better way of saying it so this week's vlog i'm going to tell a little bit more about eye hemp or industrial hemp as it's called um, that's the reason why i'm here in new zealand to do research on that and yeah so eye hemp has been a product which especially in New Zealand has been criminalized heavily which is if you go back to the stories it's it's a very long and detailed story which actually goes into topics which uh, might uh, get people banned on YouTube if you say stuff about it in the wrong way so what happened in short is hemp was criminalized for the sake of another product being able to actually have a place in the marketplace so it was criminalized it was pushed aside um, hemp actually dates back years and years and years uh, it actually used to be the case that if you uh, were a farmer in the u.s you actually um, i think you weren't obliged but you would get a special government fee if you grew hemp so that they could make the ropes of boats out of them um, and henry ford actually made his first ford model t or at least one of the ford model t's out of hemp so we actually had a hemp based car what we can is change the future uh, and that's exactly what i've been trying to be a part of here uh, and that's why I'm so happy to be part of a team that wants to, you know, advocate that, but not only advocate it, also live it, do it. And I love that a lot, uh, but that's not what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, it's been in prison here for a long, long time and around the planet, hemp has been put into a bit of a prison for a long time. And the last couple of years, it has been liberated from several prisons around the world. And Canada has been an absolute forefighter when it comes down to the release of the use of hemp again and hemp has been massively grown in Canada and there is there is a lot of industry around there and the industry actually has grown so far and so fast that the news which my dad gave me this week actually is massive news for the global hemp industry because uh, the company that owns uh, Desperado um, actually invested three and a half billion euros into a company called weed which is w-e-e-d in all capital letters which is a hemp company it's not a marijuana company but they the purpose chose a provocative name as far as i know and they actually invested in that company and they only got 38 percent of the shares at a price of three and a half billion euros so if you say that's about just a little bit more than one third of the company. But if that's right, then that company is valued at about 10 billion euros, which if you translate that to New Zealand dollars, that is 17, million, 17 billion, sorry, New Zealand dollars, which is just a bucket load of money. Um, and well, the majority of us will probably never see that kind, of, that kind of money on any kind of account or business that we work in or work for, because it's, it's not very common for that to be, for that kind of amount to be thrown at uh, companies. Um, but what it is, is it is a big signal from other industries that hemp is about to happen and hemp is about to happen big and it's no longer about to happen, it's happening. This kind of trend is the trend that we will see in the next couple of years. Um, and that's why I'm have, and that's why I feel very lucky to be allowed to be a part of a company which is in that industry and is one of the front runners in that industry because obviously the company has already existed for a decade now, which is obviously a relatively long time within this industry, especially if you look at the laws in this country. Um, and I haven't really thought about it a lot what I wanted to uh, do with it, but I thought it would be cool if we spoke a little bit about. Um, your experience with hemp products, whatever it might be. Um, 
and then hemp, specifically industrial hemp, so not marijuana. Let me know what you liked about the product, what you disliked about the product, and, and what you think could be the future of the product. So for those watching that have any knowledge about it, please share it. Please share it, because I would love to be a part of a community that um, can share and talk about topics like this, because it's it's interesting, and it's on the forefront of change, and, and um, I think that the pioneers who are reinventing, so in that sense, maybe not so much pioneers, but nonetheless pioneers within what we could call a new market or a reinvented market um, are talking about and what they're doing and how they're, um, yeah, and how that industry is, is going to change over the next couple of years, especially when big money like the money that's been put into it by Desperado um, is going to change this industry and is going to change the way the world deal, deals sorry, and dealt with hemp because obviously it was criminalized and now it's going to be decriminalized and now it's going to turn into a product which is going to conquer a lot of industries and is going to replace a lot of products over time it's just a question um it's no longer the question when it's just a question how in what way will it absorb markets and which markets will fall and which markets will rise because of it and um yeah i'm curious to see what your knowledge is on that and i would love to hear about that a little bit more and I would also really like to hear, uh, well, not just like to hear, uh, just as an addition, if you have any background knowledge about that, please let me know. Uh, and then if you also are interested a little bit more in hemp or you want to learn a little bit more about hemp, uh, you can go to hempfarm.co.nz, which is the company that I'm working with. And you can check out their website. And if you go to the tab learn, you can learn a little bit more about the product that hemp farm sells. And you can see the benefits that have been shown to uh, come from the use of uh, hemp, uh, hemp seed oil uh, and other products. So you can go ahead and have a look at that and check that out. And that's a little bit the story about what was a big bit of news for me, in my opinion. Um, and not only for me, but for the company here as well. We were pretty shocked when we heard about it. And yeah, it, it does have an, a massive impact on the general industry. Um, to tell you a little bit more about what I'm going to be doing this coming week, I'm going to be going up to Hamilton again. Um, I'm going to be helping out the team over there again uh, with a little bit more basic stuff. There's going to be a lot of uh, orders coming in this week and uh, that means that um, it's going to be busy. So I'm going to help out the team over there and that's what this next week is going to be about. Um, and, and that's what I'm going to be doing and what's going to be after that, I don't know yet. And that's going to be the surprise for after that because it's so busy. Oh, no, I do know. I'm going to be going to a Wellington show. I do know. But that's the, no, that's the week after that. Well, that's all up and coming. Um, I'll keep you guys up to date with that. And yeah, that's, that's going to be the next thing coming up. Yes, so this weekend I went on a cool little kayak trip together with Ann and Dave and dogs, um, which was a lot of fun. It was actually uh, quite enjoyable. Um, and, uh, well, not actually, it was really enjoyable and it was a lot of fun to go out and to um, sit on the river and just chill out and actually just relax for a couple of seconds. And um, so we were going down the stream, which was a lot of fun because actually parts of the stream actually connect up to areas which have uh, boiling water in them. Now that sounds a little bit creepy, but um, there's actually a lot of volcanic activity in the area where I live, uh, which is Tokanu, as I've uh, mentioned before and um, in that area there is a lot of uh, volcanic activity and that volcanic activity also comes boiling up to the surface and when it boils up to the surface uh, it actually uh, heats up what's on top of it and in some cases this is mud or in some cases this is rock but in the case where we were it is water and the water is actually heated up by the volcanic activity under the soil so there's actually well that was a surprise um but there's actually um, um boiling water so we actually went to little ponds that were just literally steaming up around us because of the fact they were that hot um so i felt the water as well because it's it's there are ponds which you can't feel because they literally are boiling and there are ponds where you can but the water all connects up to a river so it's all connected to each other and it's a it's a really nice area to go through and it was a really nice route to uh, to go down uh, so we went down there and we had a really nice time and um, Dave and Anne both had a dog on each of their boats and um, 
we were close to getting back and we'd had a really lovely trip and the dogs had really behaved themselves really, really well. Uh, but Anne was worried that one of the dogs actually was going to be a little bit cold, so she put a scarf around one of the dogs, which was really cute to see. Um, and then we were nearly home and one of the dogs decided that it had just about had enough. So it jumped out of the boat and it swam to the side and it just stood there. So Anne was like, oh shit, get the dog. So I said, so I turned my canoe around and I canoed back up and I uh, I got the dog and uh, it came along with me and well it looked like a little drowned puppy obviously um, but it had that scarf which was completely soaked on uh, on it as well um, so it was quite hysterical to watch uh, in the end obviously because everything went well if it would not have gone well it would not have been as hysterical or funny um, but yeah so that was quite a fun uh, fun thing and then yesterday evening we watched the uh, All Blacks uh, win against the Wallabies um, and it was a really, really, really interesting game. The, uh, the Australian team came out strong. Um, they did make a couple of decisions which I didn't understand because in the first, in the end, they lost with 38 to six. So I think if they would have put out that try in that first round, they would have put in three, eight, but they could have had 10 points in the first round if they both had the try and they would have taken the, the, the kick, um, but they didn't. They chose that, that field penalty to, to use that as a direct shot for the goal. And, uh, well, they got the points, but it didn't benefit them enough, I think. So that was a bit of a shame uh, because it's always nice to keep uh, equal teams into the game because otherwise, I mean, the All Blacks are so much stronger. They're going to win in the majority of the games because they're that much stronger, that much faster, and they're very confident in their game. Uh, but yeah, so I watched that game yesterday with Anne and Dave, which was a lot of fun because obviously the All Blacks won, which is always nice. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much my week. Obviously I did a ton of other stuff as well, but yeah, I can't tell you all of that in, in the 10, 15 minutes that I, I try to keep my videos to that length. And yeah, it's, 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 a, it's an absolute madhouse. I'm doing a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things going on at the same time, so it's hard to keep up. I'm therefore sorry about the fact that last week's video wasn't released until this week, but it's just been too busy to be able to do it. Uh, and next week's video hopefully will come out in the right time uh, but the week after probably again I'll not be able to do a video because of the fact that um, I'll be doing a show again down in Wellington this time. I'm sorry for the quality of these videos because I've just not had the time to edit them as well as I'd like to but it's just busy 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 so I can't and if I could I would but I can't so I have to deal with it as it comes and uh, yeah I hope to put out the next video with a little bit better quality. Uh, I'll try to make the best of it now as I can. But until that time, I still hope that you guys, nonetheless, that you enjoyed, nonetheless, sorry. And that you, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know about your experience with hemp. Uh, don't forget to check out the website for hempfarm.co.nz. Link in the description down below. Um, and yeah, I hope my energy levels are better next time. And then I'll make sure to put on a bigger smile for the next one. Uh, I hope everybody back home is doing well. Uh, I hope everybody else is watching is doing well. Um, if you live in New Zealand, don't forget to come and check us out in the uh, oh no no allergy non allergy show in Wellington in two weeks. It's on the first of September. Come and check us out there, and yeah, uh, hit us up, have a look, uh, maybe even buy a product, whatever suits you best. But come and have a peek. Uh, until that time, thank you everybody who's been supporting me, who's been watching. I hope you've been enjoying it on your end as well, and see you in the next one. Bye. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see us true, but the